yeah, there's a, a rhythm or a cadence to it, right? And there's races you don't want to miss no matter what. Um, and I think Belgian Wall for Ride California being one of them. Just it's the true beginning of the year, in my opinion. Back in the days, in 2016, people were already telling me stories about this race. It was even before I knew about something like Unmount, or back then it was Dirty Cancer, because I was racing grasshoppers in Northern California. It's a little bit a question mark, but uh, I think I'm in a good shape, and uh, it can be. But uh, top three is also uh, satisfying. I was trying to think of a witty way to say this the other day, but I think anybody whose nickname ends in a Y, you got to watch out for. Finsty, Lancey. <laughs> Um, Howie, keep going. Yeah, probably Pete. <laughs> <laughs> You're not putting up much fight. You know, I, I don't know. Pete'll be, Pete be uh, this, this Pete's, Pete's palace. We're all at Pete's house right there here. There you go. Uh, you know, like you, you look around, uh, every sponsor here is uh, affiliated with Somehow Pete. Somehow associated you know, with Pete. Pete, Pete, Pete Pete's uh, van is just down the street here. Uh, I don't know. I just can't stop saying Pete. It's a hot <laughs> stock right now. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough market, but I'd buy Pete. There you go. All right. <laughs> If winning is an A+, plus, you always want to ace the test, but there's other ways to, to ace the test too and have a good ride out there. Historically, it has a big gender disparity, um, but we're starting to see that close a bit, and I think the women's fields are starting to become more competitive, which is making the races more tactical um, and harder, which is, which is more fun. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so it's been great to see that. Just being here with this group of women, like they're all so talented and come from so many different backgrounds. It's just an awesome experience to be able to race with them. Some of us don't have cyclocross skills or mountain bike skills, and I'm like, I gotta try to do what she's doing. I'm like, how does she remount so easily? I'm like, this is not that easy for a roadie, right? Because when you win something, you should be really excited, and I'm just like, it's my job, I did my job. You don't finish your day at work and people applaud you. If you could win one race this year, is Sunday the race for you? I think so, honestly. it's it's. The only course that mimics kind of like what I do on a regular weekend, um, our Saturday rides are really similar. All right, how much are you pouring in? That's a lot. You can just do it by feel. Oh yeah. Or do you do it? Do you measure it out? Um, I don't know. I just follow my heart. Okay. I don't know. I do it enough where I'm like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> that's it. We're close. Not all of that will go in there. You don't really. Maybe. Yeah. But. That's. Sorry. That's so then. That that woke up some neighbors. Sorry. That's awesome. No, it's good. Oh, they didn't wake up your kids. <laughs> oh, they're thick sleepers. And then you gotta shake it up. Mm. You're like a bartender. <laughs> making my own mixed drinks. Good luck. Thank you. Right on. Awesome. Alexi, dude. Roll you in back across the Okay. How are Thank you, you feeling? Me. Nervous. Excited. You still get nervous at bike races? I was weird. Rob and I were just talking about it. We've raced for as long as I can remember in like the first race of the year, everyone has nerves. Right. Um, but yeah, excited to see how it plays out and I think a new course is gonna bring on a very worthy winner. So I also feel like I'm carrying half the field's water on my back, but, you know, okay. hydration's important. So you're just self-contained? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have staff, so 
Okay. Yeah, it's it's good. Like then you're just like sorted. First time's gonna sting real good, but it'll wake you up. Yeah. <laughs> Randy Brightman! P, close the gap. Close that gap, guys. Go, Flavia. Let's go, Ivan. Come on, Paige. Sixth place women right now. Come on, Adam, you know this. Come on, Sarah, you're in about seventh women. Awesome. Yeah, Pitsy! Come on, Pete. Come on, Come on, Ian. Come on, Adam. Let's go, house.
And you're not looking at me? Uh, probably, maybe. Group of about nine in front of you. Nine in front? They caught Grotz and Brittany. Okay. Anyone falling off? Ivar. He's off the back. Okay. He's, he's all by himself, too. Do those guys keep rolling? They're rolling. All right. Nobody, Braylon, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Come on, Hals. Come on, Griffin. Let's go, Fitzy. Money in! Seconds, Griff. All right, Griff, you got this. Double peak is next. Here. 
Australian mountain bike champion will end up with four. A great ride. Welcome to America. We've got a huge campaign ahead of them. They'll be heading up to Sea Otter at Monterey. Go for it. To start racing this week, there's the Lifetime Series kicks off. So we'll hear a lot more from Brendan Johnson. How are the legs feeling? Good to have him as part of the uh, American team. No. You're done. I was good. Till the double take and then. Like, buddy, he's done. Champion in the red jersey, Howard Grotz, an American Olympian from Durango, Colorado. That guy is a straight up. Lord, Mr. Grotz. Am I so with you? You're a beast, man. Why didn't you come with me? Matthew Bay, Scott, and Matt. I saw you being a dog. I just didn't realize that. I don't know. I'm going to talk about the rain rides today. I knew it was going to be like Russell in there. I think I finished. I came ahead of Brendan. I caught. I think I finished third. I don't know. Performance to take six today. Here is Alex Howes racing for Max Power. Slow on tape, man. Good job out there, Griffin. Griffin Easter, only pure rider. Uh, Lawrence is one of our all-time favorites, the godfather here. Sounded like a tough start to the day. It's actually impressive to see Lauren finding his way into what should be a top ten spot. So something that's not a liquid. <laughs> Good job out there. Holy moly. Ouchie. The wheels started to fall off, and they fell off. Dude, you were looking for me. Um, it was quite the race of us. I was like, holy shit. What was that breakaway move? Yeah. That's such a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I spent like the next hour of my life with a gun in my mouth. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, look at this. Get this on video. Watch yeah, this. no, I am. Oh. Dude, this thing is done. <laughs> oh, those rails are done, dude. Yeah. They better be carbon. I was just trying not to break it the whole time. How was that? Uh, when did that break? Like. Mile 100. Yeah. I just spent the whole time like trying not to break it. Yeah. And the neutral car said they'd fix it, but never happened. Okay. Are you regretting that decision to pee and get dropped? Well, I got like almost back. I just need to learn, dude. I'm not experienced enough to like actually pee off my bike. So but the moto like, gave you a good. Yeah. I was there, and then I got a little screwed over because I was pretty far back. And then how was uh, Quest Haven to double peak? Were you with people or were you solo? I was solo. Okay. I just, I was trying not to break this and then, I don't know. I knew we had a really big gap. Right. But you were with that chase group. Yeah. I mean, I should have been with that front group. I just, uh, I fought hard in the front group all day. I felt probably the best I ever felt at a BWR or gravel race. And then... Dude, seriously. <laughs> yeah, tons of strong guys. I mean, this guy's throwing punches all day. Um, lots of the strong roadies were on the gas, so it was a really dynamic race. We had a group of about 10 and um, pretty solid pace all day. Um, I just kind of hit it in the single track at the end. I knew that was where I'd be the strongest and just wanted to see what I could do. Were you worried that you'd get caught at double peak? Uh, I mean, you never know. Um, I had a feeling these two would come back to me on the pavement, so it just kind of like rode hard enough that it'd be hard for them to come back and then yeah up double peak i was seeing stars at the top like yeah. just giving to the top of this thing and right, make it to the finish but yeah it was it was a hard effort out there lastly how'd the fork do <laughs> yeah you know got the specialized project black fork on there um and you know it was awesome <laughs>
with a shot dial. And they would be finished and probably shot at the end of the yeah. And you know what? What's wrong with that? Right there she is! Flavia Oliveira! Silver medal winner! Flavia! Rockstar! Post it up! Here! Flavia, that is small enough that in order to get wet in the shower, she has to move around. No, she gets caught in between streets. She is. Never a say. Devin like with an What's outboard that? motor okay. attached to it. Right, there you go. Paige Onwiller taking the bronze medal. That was the name we were searching for. Paige, hey. Paige Onwiller wins it, Big Sugar. Second at her Belgium Alkaline Michigan, and she gets a third hit today. That's a big one for Paige. That's got to feel good heading up to Seattle next week. Good job, Paige. Jasper Opeloid, Alexi Vermillion, Brendan Johnston, and Howard Grotz representing three different continents here, but an American man. Rightful. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the new Queen of Gravity, your champion. It's the mighty, mighty Heather Jackson. The Queen of Gravel! Ali Tutrick's not gonna be happy, but this is a big moment now. A changing of the guard on the top step. And there she is. A triathlete champion in her career. Certainly to call her a world-class triathlete is an understatement, but winning here unprecedented the Mumu jersey going to our champion the medal with it thank you shelby tinsman heather jackson is your champion amanda nauman you called it yes she did we love breaking these races down and analyzing 
And I tell you what, this one was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful win. If you want to find the perfect podium, we just did. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's Heather Jackson, Flavio Oliveira, Paige Onwell, Isabel King, and Rebecca Faringer. First of all, sorry about the sound. That PA system can get really loud. My camera settings were off on the audio. Some of the audio spiked, so I appreciate it. Apologies. Second of all, BWR is in the wraps. It's done. It's... It's something that keeps on getting better and better every year in terms of competition. And I think the level just keeps getting deeper to the point where it's anybody's game. I'm happy that Russell won. Fun fact, there's a bit of my bike on his bike uh, for the event and that came through. So I was happy that he won. Secondly, Paige and Flavia did great out there. They stayed with me and we did a lot of prep training media all kinds of stuff and uh they got second and third and congrats to heather of course bwr is a lot of things to a lot of different people to people that want to win it's one thing and people who want to finish by sunset it's another thing if you take that into context um you only saw the pointy end of the peloton but there were people out there finishing when the pros were asleep so it is a important event for a lot of people for me this race is a challenge it's sometimes exhilarating sometimes it's frustrating uh this year it's a bit emotional and you know when you put all that together it just makes for a memorable experience so i'm i hope that i was able to share just a small fraction of that in this video and convey what it was like to actually be here. I would like to keep covering these events and if you subscribe to the channel, it really helps me get to them uh, and it really helps me continue to create really good quality uh, gravel and bike events as well. So please subscribe if you haven't subscribed or this is the first time you're checking out the channel. I would like to continue to do it. Let me know if you did BWR or what you think of gravel altogether, what you thought of the race. And until next time, this is Brian saying stay velo-worthy.